Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We've got a dandy for you today. It's the annual battle between two Indiana institutions, Notre Dame and Purdue. See how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He'll return it from the ones. He's taken down at the 24. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And they'll bring him down behind the line. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. It's second and 12. Ball on the 22. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's taken down around the 34-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. First and 10. Ball on the 34. They'll bring him down around the 46-yard line. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's knocked out of bounds around the 36-yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. First and ten, ball on the 36-yard line. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. Down he goes, around the 27-yard line. Third and one, ball on the 27-yard line. And he's tackled at the 27. That was nose-to-nose -nose football right there, and the defense this time wins the battle. at the 25. Some guys are dangerous no matter where they are on the field. Whether they have speed, elusiveness, great vision, whatever the case may be, you have to find ways to get the ball in their hands. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Quick throw. He's taken down at about the 23-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. It's second and eight. Ball on the 23. And 
they make the stop around the 12 yard line. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Brought down at the three. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. the PAT. It was a 13 play, 75 yard drive, and they add 7 points to the scoreboard. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a 7 on 7 drill to not see the ball touch the ground. But this time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. Jones fields it at the 1, makes it to the 22 yard line. The Boilermakers having a wide receiver like this, I think sometimes it helps a young quarterback because this kid Goes out there, he works hard in practice every day, and I think he really lifts the whole offense. I think he does. I think he's almost like having an extension from the coaching staff into the locker room with the players. Uh, he's a guy that makes big plays, but I think he takes it upon himself to be able to help out with some of the other receivers, make sure that they're all on the same page, understand the route adjustments, understand everything that goes on with being a wide receiver and the importance of blocking. So all the little things that seem to add up and make big plays, uh, I think this guy totally understands his responsibilities being a go-to player from their own 22-yard line second down swings it out there incomplete It complete over the middle. Tackle made at the 16 yard line. So the offense fails to pick up the first down. at the 45-yard line. He showed a good burst there. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now, it's really paying off. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Notre Dame is up by a touchdown. Got some open field. He's tackled around the 30-yard line. Now he took the pitch there and was able to get the first down. It's a nice option play. From the 28-yard line, it's second down. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. Fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. Yeah. 
Pass interference. Defense. defense. He just jumped up and snatched that ball. Well, there, I don't think the quarterback even saw him. The defender went up into the air and made a great catch. From their own 29-yard line, first down. And he just gets rid of it. doesn't always need to use his cannon. Sometimes precision is more important than power. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Makes the grab and steps out right away. so far as we reach the end of one. Seven nothing, Notre Dame. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Around an eight yard pickup on the slant route from the quarterback. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Tackled after a decent pickup. incomplete. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. And this play is number eight on the drive. Feeds it to the back. He gets hit out of bounds at the 31-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 31. Quick throw. Intercepted by the linebacker. Great catch by the linebacker, but not a smart throw from the quarterback. It didn't look like the quarterback even saw the linebacker hanging in that area. It pays to be in the right spot at the right time. From their own 14-yard line, it's first down. Notre Dame is up a score. They hand it off. Gets out to around the 22. That's a D on the play. That makes it second and two. Two-yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. 
makes it first and ten. Carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. Four yards away here, third down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And he's taken down around the 45-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Notre Dame up seven points. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The way the safety was playing up toward the line of scrimmage shows you what they think of the offense's passing game. Not a lot of respect for it. It's second down now and 14 to go. Ball on their own 40. Quick throw and he's got his receiver again. They'll bring him down at the 46. Douglas on the tackle at the 46-yard line. That'll bring up third and, and this is the tenth play of the drive. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. Waiting the return. He takes it at the 12. Tackle made at the 21. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. The offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. You know, he's been working really hard lately on his fundamentals. In fact, the other day in practice, I was really watching him work with the quarterback coach, and they've been focusing on that aspect of it. Here, it looked like he may have taken a step backwards and really just let that one go. Got a man in and out of his hands. It's third and ten. Ball on the 21. Throws to the back quickly, off his hands, incomplete. Strong showing by the defense. You always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can. And he's hammered down. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Notre Dame is up seven. He goes down at the 20. From the 20 yard line, first down. Get, get, get. 
They bring him down in the backfield. out of bounds at the 21-yard line. Well, that's some pretty timid play calling right there. Let's see if they decide to open it up a bit more. Third down and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 21-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 10-yard line. That was actually pretty good defense, but a great pass and a great catch were enough to overcome it. He fights forward to about the 10. This defensive lineman's got the kind of size and strength where he can disrupt the play all by himself. From the 10 yard line, second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes us 30 goal. Notre Dame is up by a touchdown. Touchdown, Notre Dame! And he converts the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Cowboys came into the day ranked 12th. All those who said they weren't that good now have plenty of ammunition. An old coach once said, if you don't think every game's important, just try losing one. Apparently, this team believed it. They tried, and they lost. A major upset is now in the book. Texas, San Antonio gets the win, 27-20. You can never overlook any team any week in college football. Wow. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Purdue's offense is so predicated on what this wide receiver does. And now when you consider that we've got a couple of quarters left, they've got to change the complexion of the game a little bit. They're going to have to do it with somebody else, I think. This is really where a coaching staff gets challenged because for five or six days, you prep. And you look at a lot of film, and you kind of come into a game by the time Saturday rolls around. And you have a good idea of how you want to attack a defense. And then you go out there, and it's not working. You have to show an ability as a coaching staff to go back and look at that drawing board and eliminate some things and maybe add some things and be able to try to make the adjustments you need to to give your team a chance to win in the second half. on the run quarterback's gonna run it and he's got room to work and down he goes around the 35 yard line well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback from their own 35 yard line first down quick strike to the receiver he's knocked out of bounds around the 43 yard line Purdue will have one timeout remaining so we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. Got a man, open touchdown! Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, in a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. And he adds the extra point. It's halftime, and we've got a close one. 14-7, Fighting Irish.
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. If you love or at least just appreciate great offensive line play, we're seeing it in this game. The pass rush has been completely negated, and I know that you guys on defense talk not so much all the time about sacks, but affecting the yep. quarterback. How big a deal is that? Yeah, you got to find ways to make him feel uncomfortable, and you'd like to be able to do it with four people and not blitz and put your secondary at risk. But sometimes when you're not getting home, sometimes you got to bring a fifth guy, and you got to bring a guy maybe with a cornerback or a nickelback with more speed off of the edge. Right now, what they're doing is not working. They got to change it up, maybe run some line games up front where people cross and stunt. But you have to affect the quarterback if you don't want him to pick you apart. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Jones fields at the goal line. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in this third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and to come out and, and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he's tackled right around the 46-yard line. their own 46 yard line it's first down he's tackled right around the 48 yard line that'll make it second and four To the receiver and it's knocked away this quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free so it's third down now and they're going to need about four and he just gets rid of it you know when you feel pressure like that the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Notre Dame is up a score. Tackle made at about the 21. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 21. Has some daylight. He's out to the 30. Gets out to around the 35. That makes it first and 10. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 36. <laughs> Setting up blockers, or running backs got it on the screen.
They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Here they come. Wants to throw outside. And it's incomplete. This one should be interesting. Pass interference. Offense. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. Notre Dame up seven points. And he gets just a little on the return. That time, the coverage was all over. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Throws it out there. And it's going the other way. It's the freshman corner. Oh, boy. I bet he knew as soon as he released that football that he shouldn't have made the throw. And that's the thing. When you're under that kind of pressure, it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 42. And he tackles him hard at the 42-yard line. complete he's got room to work brought down at the 35 they complete that play action pass good for seven yards good job by the quarterback to put the ball right in the hands of the big tight end there second down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down and now he's got room to run They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. Notre Dame is up seven. Tackle at about the 25-yard line. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved them back. From the 25-yard line, it's second down. Throws down the middle. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. They looked awesome on that play. A well-thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. It might not be the most well-known trophy, but is there a better name for a trophy than the Bayou Bucket? Houston and Rice set the square off. And for Houston, they're sleepwalking through this scene. If they don't turn it around, they're going to get into a world of trouble. Bradley is a wide receiver's coach's dream with those Velcro hands of his. He scored a touchdown. The Owls lead 14-7. Two touchdown ball game here, Reese 21 7. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 27 yard line. Notre Dame's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great, there's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, has just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. And he's immediately tackled. their own 
38 yard line. First down. And they make the stop at the 43 yard line. Call it again in five yards. That brings him second and five. in the middle that last pass was good for maybe five yards the defense wasn't fooled too much by the play action but it gave the quarterback just enough of a cushion to find his receiver it's third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker So that'll make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. And he muffed it. I know I'd be nervous with 11 guys sprinting down the field at me, but the first job of a return man is to catch the ball. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. That makes it second and six. From their own 19-yard line, second down. They'll bring him down around the 18-yard line. Steps up in the pocket. Waits under pressure. And he's level at the 18-yard line. Burks is the deep man awaiting the return. They'll bring him down at the 49-yard line. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. He's taken down around the 40-yard line. That's a gain of nine. That'll make it second and inches. Three down and one to go. Notre Dame's lead is two touchdowns. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Zips it left. Sheffield was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. He launches one for the end zone. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. And the defense comes through. <laughs> 
Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he's taken down around the 49-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. From the 49-yard line, first down. They bring him down in the backfield. That makes it second and 13. And he's hit immediately. That's a gain of 13 on the play. Third down. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Here's the give. And he is drilled at the 40-yard line. scrambling he's taken off slides down to the ground he made a real nice play on that one I'll tell you what in today's game you have to have the ability to run the football give the quarterback a lot of credit he made a great play and really gave his team a boost and down he goes right around the 20 Makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They're not ready for this, man. They're not ready for this. They still play soccer. Now he tries to buy some time, and he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. This is the eighth play of this drive. Receivers got the first down, and he's tackled at about the 13. Call it a gain of seven yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. And they'll get him in the backfield. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Here's play number 10 on the drive. a great tackle at the 15. He scrambled and maybe picked up a yard there. He was playing the run all the way and was able to stop him quickly. Good job by that senior safety. It's third down, 12 to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. Darts it to the right. Picked off by the senior. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 22. Fires out to his receiver. He's tackled around the 35-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. 
He throws left. Nice grab on the play. The 10. Touchdown. Huge play. He makes the PAT with a three-play, 79-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, and saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. From the eight-yard line, he makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. From their own 25-yard line, second down. made at the 39. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. Just under two minutes in the game. Nice run up the middle. A nice seven-yard gain on the option keeper. Purdue will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Carries the ball for a nice game. Good pickup. And with a new set of downs, a chance to kill even more time. The Boilermakers using their third and last timeout from the 48-yard line. First down. Gets out to around the 38. That's a game of 10 on play. That makes it first and 10. Makes it to the 27. That's a game of 11 on the play. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 27 yard line. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He takes a knee. Here's the eighth play of the series. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. 21-14, Notre Dame. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch.